What is happening everybody, Molecular Narwhal here with a Stardew Valley mod showcase. I think this is going to start being a regular feature on my channel. I have a Stardew Valley modded series and Stardew Valley is probably one of my favorite games. Um, and so I think we're going to make this a thing. Today we're going to look at the Look Up Anything mod by Pathos Child. To me it's like the essential mod for any mod pack. Or if you're not going to do a mod pack, I would still do this mod. Honestly, it is pretty awesome. Uh, you'll be able to see the link to the mod in the description below. And just go ahead and look for that and you can get to where I'm at right now, no problem. You can take a look at it on the Nexus Mods page. It's pretty awesome looking, pretty simple. And we're gonna take a good look at it and show you what it's all about. This mod literally has almost no impact on gameplay. I mean, it doesn't alter the game. It's just uh, user interface kind of stuff, right? So it results in less searching of the wiki or Googling stuff. It basically will tell you anything you want to know. Okay, so in this mod, there's going to be eight categories. There's going to be crops, animals, people, monsters, structures, equipment, random items, and player. Those are going to be things that you can all get info out of, as you can see here. And we'll see it in game in a second. So this will really prevent you from, from going to the wiki and looking up a bunch of stuff, you know. You want to know how long does it take cranberries to grow? How long will it be till my, my blueberries are done? How long will it be till my next wine bunch comes in? Uh, how many bats do I have to kill for Gilly's silly quest thingy? You know, all kinds of stuff like that. You know, what's my percent chance of a drop out of this monster? You can look that up on the wiki, sure. But you could also have the look up anything mod and be able to tell with the click of a button. With this mod, you can basically look up anything. Anything that has any useful information, you'll be able to look up. By default, the hotkey to look things up is F1. You can reset in the, that in the configs file, but it's pretty easy to just keep it at F1 in my opinion. The first thing we can look at, probably the most important thing, is crops. If we just click F1 on this, we can tell what it is. Ancient fruit, we can see the day it will be harvested, how long till it's harvested, a bunch of information about pricing. One of the coolest things you can see is like who likes it. Um, and then for an achievement, things like that, we'll see some more information on the cauliflower as a few days till it's shipped. We can see what's needed for in the community center, um, some quests that it's needed for, see who likes it there. And then for the strawberries, same kind of thing. It's pretty awesome. We can also look at the animals over here. Go take a look at Pua. And we can see he hasn't had any love today. Um, he looks really happy though. He hasn't been petted yet today when he's going to grow again, how much we can sell him for, things like that. If we look at the sheep, same sort of thing. We can see what they'll produce. Chickens, same kind of deal. Basically, you can just see any information you would want. You can't look up grass. There's not really anything useful to see about the grass. Uh, you could look up the tree. It'll tell you if it has a seed in it. So if you can shake it and get a seed, if it's fully grown, how long it will be to the next growth stage. Like if we look at this thing, it'll say sapping to a 5, 20% chance to grow into a bush tomorrow. Now, another thing we can do is look up equipment. We can go to our watering can. We can click F1 and it'll tell us what it's used for. Any of your tools basically have that basic information. Not a whole lot of useful information, but there's information nonetheless. If we F1 something like a sprinkler, it'll tell us we own 13 because there's four in the field. And if we go in the house, there's a few in the chest. So basically it's pretty cool because if you're ever mining, doing anything like that, you know, uh, maybe I can sell this instead of holding on to it, stuff like that. Or if you're trying to decide something to throw away while you're mining, pretty helpful as well. You can look in this crystallarium with F1 again. It'll tell you a diamond is in it. It's gonna be four days, about five days really, until another one is produced. We own one, it's in the crystallarium. We can look at the keg and it'll tell us that strawberry wine will be made in this many days. And we own one and it is in there as well. If we look at the strawberries, we can F1 them and it'll tell us what they're used for just like it does on the crop. Um, and it will tell us we only own one even though there's some on the crops. Now, F1 also works very well on people. We can look at Pierre right here, and we'll see his birthday, our friendship level, we haven't even met yet, what kind of gifts he likes. It'll also tell you if that gift is on you. We don't currently have any gift he likes on us, but let's look at Caroline. We can see that she, we also have nothing she likes, but we can see her birthday and information about her. Let's look at Abigail, she's a little different because she's a bachelorette. Let's go have a talk to her real quick. 
She's not in a good mood right now. Too bad. We can see that we have talked to her today. We haven't given her a gift yet. We can see where her friendship is right now. We can see where we can romance her. We can see what gifts she likes. We can see, oh, look at that. She likes weeds, and we have weeds on our farm, fortunately. But if we had something in our inventory that she liked, like let's say amethyst, and then we F1 her, it'll be green. And even if it's at home in our chest or on our property somewhere, it'll be black. The only thing that won't show up black is a crop that's still on the plant. Now you can also look up information about monsters. If we look at this green slime, we see what kind of monster it is the health he has, what he might drop, sometimes to drop different things, but right now he's just gonna drop two slime. What XP he'll give us, the defense he has, his attack, and the progress in the guild. Currently I haven't killed any, but if I kill this one, it'll show that one has been killed for the guild. Of course, we can't look that up because we just killed him. But let's look at these guys, two of 125. So you can look up basically any monster information. It's pretty useful if you're figuring, trying to figure out what kind of monsters you can get things like Iridium, things like that from. Now, there's probably a lot of other areas where I didn't really think to show you what we can look up but basically throughout the game there's a lot of things that you can click f1 on and read information about if you have a question try f1 it's probably answered there the last thing we can click f1 on is ourself and it'll show us who we are our farm name our favorite things and it'll show us most importantly to me uh, our skill level and our progress it'll tell us you know you're pretty close to your next farming level pretty close to your next mining level whatever and it'll tell you your current level stuff like that it also tells your luck which if you have higher luck, you have a better chance of finding more uh, gems, you know, stuff like diamonds and stuff like that in the mines. You have a better chance of getting better drops from monsters, et cetera, et cetera. So that's basically it. There's a lot of other things you can look up. Um, we can't look at them all, obviously, but I, I would say just try and sell this mod and go see what all you can look up. If, if you get frustrated searching the wiki, Googling things, and you have questions, go into the Reddit page, whatever. Uh, this is definitely the mod for you. The Look Up Anything mod by Pathos Child, super awesome. If you want to know how to install this mod, we're going to be doing that right after this. You can stick around. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next Stardew Valley mod showcase. If you're just starting out on Stardew Valley or you haven't modded much, uh, it can be a little daunting. So this little uh, segment is going to be in every uh, Stardew Valley mod video I do. You can check it out if you want, or you can skip it. I'll probably have an annotation or something like that. You can skip this part. I'll try to keep it as short as I can. It'll only be a few minutes, and then we'll get to installing the mod if you want to know how to do that. So what we're going to do so that you know as clearly as possible how to install these mods is we're going to start from scratch. We're going to install Stardew Valley and then Smappy, and then we're going to install our mod. All right, so this is going to be a clip you may have seen before if you see other mod videos. But let's just go into it. So open up your Steam page first of all. And then we're going to go to our library. And I think I am just... Stardew Valley is in my favorites. It might be... For you, it will probably be down here somewhere. But uh, yeah, so Stardew Valley is in my favorites. I'm going to install. Now for me, I like to install games like this to my H drive because that's where my HDD is at, not my SSD. But for you, you're probably going to install into your C drive right there, and that's fine. No worries there. You've probably got the game installed already. I just want you to see what it looks like before and after. So we're going to record, or we're going to install this now, and then uh, you guys will catch up with me when it's done. All right. So now my Stardew Valley is installed. No problem. We're just going to look at where the Stardew Valley folder is really quick because it's super important. So. Uh, let's go to our PC. Uh, you might be able to see it if you go into your folders and just click this PC. Um, you might go to your C drive, like I said, so you'll want to click that one probably, but I'm going to go to my H drive. And then you're going to want to look for a folder called Steam. If you go to your C drive, like mine, it is probably a Steam, but for me, I call it that. So here we go. We're going to go into the Steam folder. And then we're going to go, going to, go to Steam Apps, Common, and then right here is Stardew Valley. So this is what Stardew Valley folder looks like before you've even played the game. So this is what it looks like straight up. Nothing's changed, nothing's different about it, okay? And there is uh, multiple ways to get to this folder. Another way we could do it, let's just close this up. Let's go to Steam. We will right click this, we'll say properties. That's on the wrong monitor, there we go. Local files, and then we will click browse local files and it will bring us right to the Stardew Valley screen. So that'll be coming in handy for the next part of this. All right, so now that we know where the Stardew Valley folder is, we can get started with some modding. 
The first thing you'll need for most mods, not all mods, but for most mods is Smappy. So what Smappy is, is a mod manager. If you've ever modded a game like Minecraft, you might know of like uh, Forge. Uh, this is kind of what that's like. Uh, or like Nexus mod manager. This is kind of what that's like, a little different. But Smappy is an API that organizes mods for you and it changes how Stardew Valley loads things a little bit. It's not too complicated, it's super easy to ins install. You'll be able to find the link to this Smappy in the description below. There might be an annotation you can click as well, but it will definitely be in the description below. Uh, so just go ahead and click download on the most recent Smappy. Usually uh, the most recent one will work just fine. Sometimes a model specified that you need an older version of Smappy, in which case you'll just scroll down and you'll look for an older version, 1.14, 1.13. So when you install a mod, you'll want to look and see which Smappy it prefers, but we'll get into that after this part of the video. So we're just going to download Smappy 1.15.3 because that's the one they're on right now. Now that we've downloaded Smappy, we need to do a couple things. So since we haven't opened Stardew Valley yet, uh, we need to do that first so that it can be prepared for modding. So let's go ahead and open our Stardew Valley. Okay, so we're at the Stardew Valley startup screen and we're not going to do anything special. We're just going to click exit and we're going to get back to modding. All right, so now what we're going to do is open this PC. We're going to go to downloads. We're going to drag our Smappy folder to our desktop so it's easier to show. And you should be able to do this without WinRAR or any special programs. I have WinRAR, but it's just a normal zip, so you can just extract it to your desktop. I'm going to say extract here, and we're going to open it, and then we're going to click this, install.exe. There's a readme in here, and if you follow this link, it'll take you to a guide of how to install it. It's pretty simple, though. I will do it right now. So let's just double click the install.exe, and you can see there's a few options. Uh, we can click one to install or two to uninstall. It's that easy. We're going to click one and enter, and it's going to install Smappy. So this is done. Don't forget to launch uh, this instead of that, and you'll see what that means in a second. See the readme for details. So what we're going to do is simply exit out of that, and then we're going to go to our Stardew Valley folder. So let's go to this PC. Let's go to our H drive and Steam and Steam apps and common Stardew Valley and right there is a new uh, icon, All right? So this is a shortcut that leads to this, and that leads us to Stardew Valley. But what we now want is Stardew Modding API. Uh, that's Smappy, of course. And uh, what we'll want to do is maybe create a shortcut on the desktop, so we'll send to desktop create shortcut. So now when you open up Stardew Valley, you're gonna want to open it up right there. Here will be your normal game. Here will be your modded game. So you can play vanilla anytime you want, or you can play modded anytime you want. So what we're going to do is open up the Smappy icon, and it's just going to load up Stardew Valley like normal. It's not going to look any different. There is going to be this thing running, and that little uh, console is going to stay open the whole time this time. Uh, whereas with normal Stardew Valley, you only have Stardew Valley running. With this, you'll have the console and Stardew Valley running. Okay, and then the game's going to load just like normal. Nothing special. No problem. My load files will probably still be here. Yep, but I don't want to open them up because they have mods in them and I don't want to mess them up. So let's exit. And then I'll show you another way to get to the Smappy folder. All right, so if you don't like having two icons on your desktop, maybe you like a clean desktop or you're just worried you won't click the right icon, that's no problem. We can make this a little different. Uh, it'll be just as easy, no problem. It'll just add another step. So we will go to our PC. Then we will go to our drive where Stardew Valley is located, go to the Steam folder, Steam apps, common, and you just want to find your Stardew Valley folder. Go up in here, grab the location, control C to copy it. We'll exit out there and we'll go back to Steam. Now once we're back to our Steam library, let's go to Stardew Valley and right click properties and then go to set launch options. That's in general, set launch options. Then we're going to delete this because I tested it earlier and we're going to do control V to paste that in there and then we're going to go to the beginning add a quotation mark and then you're going to type this below you can see so we add the address uh, h or wherever it's located you just copy and paste that and it'll go up to stardew valley and then you're going to add slash stardew modding api dot exe in quotations percent command percent no problem click ok it, nothing will come up. You'll hit close, then you'll hit play, and then it should launch Stardew Valley. And you'll be able to tell if you did the right thing if the little mutated chicken appears <laughs> below. Then you know you got it right. 
So here we are going into modded Stardew Valley. No problem. It even loads faster, I think. All right, so now that we've installed Snappy, we're ready to install some mods. And I'll show you where you would install mods at. We will go to our PC and we will go back to our Stardew Valley folder, no problem. As I showed you before, there is a easier way to get here, but this is usually the way I take. Um, so we'll go in here and you can see all of our Stardew Valley folder files. It's obviously a lot bigger now. And there's also this mods folder. Most of our mods are gonna go right in here. We're just gonna drop them right in the mods folder. Um, but we don't have any mods right now. There's a trainer mod, but that's just to make sure it works. All right, so there's a mods folder. And then for some mods, you're gonna replace some content. Uh, these would be like texture pack mods, things that just simply change the way things look. And we'll be going in our content folder to do a lot of that. So you can see how it looks. We'll go up to, this is actually my one I play on my channel, my modded series, Sorry, Valley Main. In my mods, you can see there is a bunch of stuff there. And then in the content, some stuff's changed, but you won't really be able to tell. So no problem. All right, so we have Smappy installed. Now we can get to the mod in this video. All right, so now let's install the Look Up Anything mod. So all we gotta do is open up our browser and go to this link. It will be in the description below if you just wanna click on it real quick. And then you will be here at the Look Up Anything by Pathos Child. If you scroll down, there will be installed directions. Uh, it does say install the latest version of Smappy. So you can right click install Smappy, but you can go back to earlier in the video where we discussed installing Smappy if you don't know how to do that. For right now, let's just install the mod. So let's go to files. And you probably want the most recent one, which is this one. But if you want an older one, you can go down and get some older versions. But for now, I would like the most recent one. I'm going to click manually download, continue with my download, and then it'll download. We got exit out of Chrome. Then we will go to our downloads and we will drag that to the desktop for ease. We will exit out of that. Then we will go to our Stardew Valley folder. You should know how to do that by now. Go to Steam, go into Steam apps, go to Common, and go to Stardew Valley. Of course, you can just go in there from your actual Steam library. We'll go into Mods. This is super easy. We're going to drop this in here. Right click, Extract here, and it's going to go right there. Then we're going to delete that, or you can keep that in there. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Don't click Look Up Anything. There it is. All it takes is opening the game and it'll work and I'll show you. Now it's important that you remember to use the Stardew modding API link or if you have it set up in your launch settings in Steam, that's just fine. All right, so here we are in a fresh new world and just to show you that it works, we will hover over a rock and click F1 and we'll look it up. So that's all it takes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you were able to install all of the Look Up Anything mod and Smappy just fine. If you have any concerns, questions, or input, feel free to comment them below and I'll see you guys on the next Stardew Valley mod showcase. Bye-bye.